Uh, the second question that I get a lot is, um, I'm asked, Miche, how, how can I play more soulfully and not sound like I'm just playing scales, pentatonic scales and, and all that? Well, that's certainly, um, I guess it's a good question. Um, and it's about as subjective as about anything. I can only tell you what I try to do. And, um, and sometimes I don't really focus on this enough, but when I do, I'm always happy with the results. And that is basically trying to emulate singers. So you are singing with the instrument. And you'll find that you know, you'll see you know, players and there's just all that stuff going on. And, and, and that's great, you know. Um, but blues artists who do this stuff a lot, you know, they're playing like half the notes and yet they're moving an audience. What is it about that? They play like singers, um, and there are many different singing styles. So I basically play with uh, very light strings, um, and bending strings is something that I have always really liked to do, um, because that's sort of the, a singing style that I particularly like, and, uh, and I take advantage of that. <laughs> Now you'll notice all the different, when I say nuance, I mean, listen to the difference in, in this. One. That's spinning the note from a half step to get to this. Now I'm going to go down. I'm going there from a whole step bending. When you listen to these singers, you know, or whatever, you want to really focus on the nuance of how they're getting to a note. Because you're not going to hear a da 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 again. Anyway, that's what I would recommend that you try to do. You know, emulate, you know, singers. Listen to singers. Who would I recommend? Mahalia Jackson. Mahalia Jackson. Yes, gospel singer. Um, boy, you can learn a lot listening to singers like that and what it can do for your playing will be just <laughs> it's just astounding well the only other option that you have other than what i just mentioned is of course entertainment value and uh and i can tell you that uh you know there were nights when i would play with my when i play with my uncle bartholomew and you know and he was very you know one of these super entertainer guys you know and just imagine a guy he's like six foot four with these big bozo feet and uh, so now, you know, you're taking your solo and, and you're just kind of probably looking as bored as hell. And, and then my uncle, you know, of course, he was totally unimpressed because he basically thinks you look dead. And then he would just walk over with those big bozo feet and then stomp on you. Just say, so now you, you're all mad. And uh, but, you know, but the reality is, is that the audience is all of a sudden going nuts. And your chances of getting lucky, you know, have just shot up 10%. So, you know, so, well, I guess he had a point. You know, one of the things that would annoy me is when he would insist that I play with my teeth, you know, or, you know, that. So then there you are. Great. So now you're doing all that. Play audience is going nuts. Of course, what the audience doesn't see. Well, I hope some of this was helpful. We'll see you next time.